Hey, real quick video here. We got a new firmware for the 6000 XPs that enables 120 volt grid or generator charging. I have a temporary wired up cable here. I'm going uh, L1 Gen. It also works on L1 grid as well. Uh, neutral ground as they go. I'm simulating a 120 volt generator. Uh, there are some limits to this, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm pulling in a uh, thousand watts. I have the gen limit set at a thousand watts to simulate uh, a small generator. I told it to charge, I think, 20 amps, which is going to be less than that because I set my generator limit to a thousand. But you can see we're pulling in. We're looking for L1 gen. And there's your L1 voltage, 120, and here. Your Gen 2, 0 volts, 120 volts, I can charge from a generator, however the limitations are. When you pull on 120, L2 is disabled. It's technically not disabled, but L2 is going to be 0 volts because you have no input on the Gen or the grid L2s. So the L2 is down, so anything on the second leg of your power box or your breaker box and any 240 volt load won't work if you're charging from a 120 volt generator. Um, gin boost still works. So as you can see, let me get back here to the gin. So there's a gin. Just trust me, it's going to be limited to 9,000. So there's our, what we're charging the batteries to the arrow going towards the batteries. So I'm going to turn on my space heater and then come back up here and look oh we're pulling from the battery look at my load my load is 1.4 I'm pulling a thousand from the generator and 450 from the batteries so gen boost still works. so appreciate you uh, guys watching like I just recap here 6000 XP has a new uh, firmware out that allows 120 volt generator charging with a few limitations but still functions as expected. Gen Boost still works. And uh, thanks to Gavin Stone for his shout out in the last video when I was helping him with the battery communication.